Alright, so in this video we're still talking about radians, but we need to be able to talk about radians and degrees, and we need to be comfortable being able to jump between one and the other. So if I say 360 degrees, you can say 2 pi radians. If I say 180 degrees, you can say pi radians. If I say 45 degrees, you can say pi on 4 radians. More important, these are all fairly simple ones, but if I said something like um, 71 degrees, converting to radians can be a bit tricky. So we need to formalize this. We're going to use this formula to make it all happen, to convert from radians to degrees and degrees to radians. So first we're going to convert from radians to degrees, and this is how it's going to work. The degree measure is equal to whatever radian measure you've got times 180 divided by pi. Well, let's try it out. So we're asked to convert pi on 7 radians to degrees. So using our formula, we know that degrees are equal to whatever the radian measure is, pi on 7 times 180 on pi. Now, you all know that when you multiply fractions, top times top, bottom times bottom, we end up with 180 pi over 7 pi. And you should see that those pi's, top and bottom, will cancel out. 180 over 7. Now if I get my calculator and I type that in, that comes to approximately 25.71 degrees. Obviously I can convert that to degrees, minutes and seconds if I want. So, what does this mean? When we converted pi on 7 radians to degrees, we found that that was 25.71 degrees. So if I draw this, here's my circle, here's an angle. That angle is approximately 25.71 degrees, but it's also pi on 7 radians. They, they mean the same thing, we're just converting one to the other. 25.71 or pi on 7 radians, radians, degrees. So that's converting degrees to radians. Now this, um, this cancellation here, this pi cancellation, it's going to happen a lot in these sorts of questions. Now of course you could go backwards, so you could convert 140 degrees to radians. We already know what 140 degrees looks like something like that. I wonder how many radians that is. It's going to be less than pi, because pi is 180 degrees. Um, 180 degrees is equal to pi radians, so it's going to be less than that. We can use this formula, degrees equals radians times 180 over pi. If I use that formula, it's going to be 140 equals radians times 180 over pi. Now I can do some rearranging here by saying 140, let's multiply on this side, so if I move it to the other side, divided by 180 on pi equals whatever the radian measure is. Now you can type that into your calculator and get some kind of answer from that. Now the alternative to doing that is to learn a second formula. Instead of a degrees to radians measure, you can say radians is equal to degrees times pi on 180. Now you can have a think about why that is, but remember that divide by a fraction is the same as multiply by the opposite of that fraction. And you can see here that's what I'm doing, multiplying by the reciprocal of that fraction. Alright, so if I use that formula, I avoid having to move things around. That's going to be 140 pi over 180. And of course I can put that into my calculator. And we should get an answer. Sorry if I'll stand in front of that. Alright, so my calculator gives me an answer of 2.44. 2.44 radians. Now that's not a neat way to do this. When it comes to radians, we want to keep things as exact as possible. 
So instead of doing that, 140 pi divided by 180, that's the same as 14 pi divided by 18, I've just divided top and bottom by 10, which is the same as 7 pi, which is the same as 7 pi over 9. Much, much neater way to do things, 7 pi over 9 radians. Alright, that's converting degrees to radians, radians to degrees. Let's give it a try.